maybe not, but I do know that our character today in our book might just scare you. She is on a mission. Now, last week, I told you that we were going to have a fun dance party. However, we're going to have to postpone that till next week when my little helper can help me with our dance moves. But I'll give you a little preview of some of the moves that you're going to do. Should be fun. We'll have lots of spooky music and fun dance moves. Also, at the end of today's story, I have a challenge for you. And we'll go over that at the end. But let's go ahead and get started on our story. Mary Mick Scary. She looks pretty scary to me. The story of Mary Mick Scary was written by R.L. Stein and illustrated by Mark Brown. Already starting off creepy. Mary McScary. Meet Mary McScary. She likes to be scary. She doesn't shout boo. She shouts boo. Beware of Mary McScary. Mary scares her dad at breakfast. Oh, I have egg fries. Mary scares her mom at lunch. Is Mary scary at dinner? You betcha. Beware of Mary McScary. <gasps> Mary McScary has fun scaring dogs. She likes to scare goldfish too. Mary's so scary she can scare a balloon. Beware of Mary McScary. Mary can scare just about everyone except Harry McScary. Harry is Mary McScary's cousin, and Harry is coming to visit. Harry does not find Mary scary. Will Mary scare Harry? What do you think? Today is the day I will finally scare Harry. I can't wait to make him scream. Mary gets ready. She puts on her scariest, hairiest costume. She opens the door with a roar, but Harry's not scared of Mary. <laughs> nice hairdo, Mary. Mm, didn't work. Mary McScary tries again. Maybe mm, giant spiders will scare Harry. Look out, giant spiders. Aw, I love spiders. They're so cute and cuddly. Huh. I'll show you something scary, Harry. So the spiders didn't work and the costume didn't work. Let's see if this will work. <gasps> Watch out! Gorilla! Wild and ferocious gorilla! Whee! He's riding with the gorilla. Mary McScary knew this just wouldn't do. I know! Slippery, slimy snakes for Harry. Now that's scary. Would you be afraid of, afraid of snakes? <gasps> you guys give the best hugs. Doesn't look like Harry is. I'll get you, Harry. So, so far, he has not been afraid of any of Mary's tricks. Don't try this at home, kids. Help! I'm being eaten by a giant hungry hippo. You see, Mary's in his mouth. Coochie, coochie, coo! I could tickle a hippo all day. I give up. Looks like Mary's about to just lose it. Ooh, but wait. There's only one thing left to do. What do you think it's going to be? You win, Harry McScary. Nothing scares you. And she turns to kiss him. She's gonna give him a kiss right on the cheek. Look at Harry's face. Eek! I told you I was scary. Beware of Mary McScary. So she finally scared him. How did she scare him? With a sweet kiss because she said he won. But did he win? No, Mary McScary finally scared Harry. Let's see. 
Now, are you ready for the monster challenge? You are? What do you think it's gonna be? Hmm, do you think I'm going to challenge you to dress up like a monster? No, do you think maybe I'm going to challenge you to read some books? Yes, yes I am. If you would like to participate in our monster reading challenge, you can stop by the library this week. We are open on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 11 to 5. You can stop by and grab your monster reading challenge. Ooh, let's take a look and see what I'm challenging you to do. So, your monster has lost its bucket of candy. Here's the bucket. Here's the monster, but your monster is going to have to get all the way through this maze to get back to its bucket of candy. So in order to get through the maze, you have to find the right path, but it's not going to be so easy. Along the way, as you go down, you might run into a challenge. Look at this. This is the black cauldron challenge. Ooh, what's that say? Cauldron roadblock. Read a book with a black cover, okay? And then let's say you're going and you, uh-oh, wrong way, dead end. You have to do a dead end challenge. That says you have to read in a book in the dark with a flashlight on. Ooh, sounds spooky. So by the time you get to the candy bucket, you will have read five different books as long as you haven't made any wrong turns. But if you happen to get to a dead end challenge, you'll add to your five book total. And so on here, you'll have a bookmark where you can write. So you made it to the spider web roadblock. And then that says that you have to read a book about Halloween. So after you read a Halloween book, you can write down the title there and your parents can initial it. And then you'll keep making your way through until you've made it through all of the challenges and roadblocks. And then don't forget to put your dead end challenge books. Remember, by the time you read this, you should have read at least five books. And that's only if you didn't make any wrong turns. Then at the end, you can turn this in for a prize at the library. How fun is that? When you um, finish your monster reading challenge, you can bring this back, your completed bookmark back, right here, this bookmark, and you can cash that in for a small prize because we wanna congratulate you and celebrate your reading. Remember, one book per challenge. So if you have a book that has a black cover and is about Halloween, can you do it for both challenges? No, you have to get a new book. So make sure you choose wisely for this monster reading challenge. Remember, we want to promote reading, so don't cheat us out. Also, um, we have a pumpkin contest coming up on October 28th. This contest will be a fun way for us to reconnect with our community members by having an in-person event. Of course, this event will be socially distanced outside, but we welcome all members of our community to come and participate. The way this will work is from 10 to 6 on Wednesday, October 28th. You can come to the library. We'll have a sign-in table where you can sign in and get your kit. Pumpkins will be provided unless you want to bring your own, which is totally fine. And the way this contest works is it's a Mr. Pumpkin Head contest. That means you will not carve your pumpkin, but you will decorate your pumpkin with pre-made eyes, ears, noses, accessories, all the things that make Mr. Potato Head fun, but instead we're doing it with the pumpkin because it's Halloween, of course. So stop by on Wednesday, October 28th from 10 to 6. This is a come and go event. We ask that you don't stay and socialize after the event is over, after you finished your pumpkins. And we have extended the time from 10 to 6 to make sure we can have as many people participate as possible while being socially distanced. If you need any information on this event, you can contact the library. You can call us at 479-267-2674, or you can reach out to us on our Facebook and Instagram. Just search for Farmington Public Library and be sure you get the one in Arkansas. Or you can email us. 
Um, our email is on our website at farmpl.org. We look forward to hosting you at our event. So if you need any information on how it's going to work, just give us a call or contact us and we will get you that information. Thank you for tuning in and I promise next week will be our monster dance boogie. Woo! See you guys.